think about Thanksgiving? The irony is his so socially, is politically, and spiritually, and first, and personally, and personally. <laughs> what do you think about Thanksgiving? Those are the four points: socially, politically, spiritually, and. Personal. You ask me while I have a, a, a great beer and a vape nice. pen in my hand. I, I think, I like think that's cheating, Quinn. I think, I, I think, I, I think cheat. you know. I, I think you know the answer to that. Qu no, that, man. There's so much to that. It's it's been a huge part of my evolution to live in gratitude, and, and I know that sounds cheesy as fuck and simplistic, but it it really cheesy as fuck or simplistic to me at all. It sounds like an enlightened master knowing what real priorities are and doing what is actually most important in life. So you live every day in gratitude and, and in thanks. Is basically what you're saying? I mean, maybe not every day, but for the most part, you're living every day in gratitude and thanks for being alive. You're having Thanksgiving on a daily basis? Absolutely. Well, being present in your body is a huge part of that. And just having built enough healthy habits into my life which is funny as I sit here sucking on a vape pen and drinking a beer, but yeah. Well, but like, it is it is actually local craft beer, and it is actually a, organic a extracts. Organic yeah, extract. uh, yeah. So, so the, like, of, of all the indulgences, a, yes, these are but these it's are ones high level. Yeah, exactly. that, that 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 actually in 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 the way that I indulge keep me present, keep me grateful, right. and for all the love in my life, staying present to that. If you don't have the grounding and in, in self love. You can't project love. And is it healthier to not smoke or drink or have sex and be unhappy? Or is it healthier to smoke or drink and have sex and be happy and in gratitude and thanks every day and in love every day? Being unhappy is the most dangerous, unhealthy thing you can do of everything you mentioned by a long shot. Right. Easy. Right. So drugs and alcohol and drugs and sex and alcohol and drugs and consumerism isn't necessarily bad if you do it holistically or sustainably With but it can also it can also become like become a vice become an addiction why do you always want to talk about sex and drugs i just want to talk about love man yeah, no. shut up it's, it's <laughs> still better looking than yours and uh like i said a year and a half i want in on my own and now <laughs> Uh, all right, I got my one in on that. <laughs> I'm still double fisting. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't waste all that money and time giving it to the courts when he's ultimately going to come back to me. Yeah, but you're you're drinking a beer and smoking a vape pen while you're talking about love and gratitude. So it's kind of like, hmm. You know what I mean? Just got to live the way you want to live. I mean, it, it's, it sucks to see people, for whatever reason, afraid of right, that. But, okay, so we're, I mean, we're talking about Thanksgiving. So like, I mean, we can, oh, right. like, we can just talk about, Thanksgiving. about Thanksgiving. Like, So we'll get back to Thanksgiving real quick, but for me, it's really just a super moot and boring and shallow point, to be honest. I don't give a fuck about it. But let's just like cover the Thanksgiving topic again, like from the beginning. Well, okay, I gotta, so. then I gotta go back and say, looking at the history of it, it's another bullshit whitewashed holiday that is an official government day that employees get to take the day off and we have this silly you know and it's not just it, it's not bad that we have an exercise in gratitude that's beautiful and i think everybody should incorporate into that into their daily lives and thanksgiving is another. generally speaking a pretty nice day yeah and you but you look back and, and it's become a, a great family holiday and i think people have have taken it away from right, the, the, the flying, evil tradition. Trying to go home for Thanksgiving. I'm very much looking forward to being with my family. Right, as, exactly. As, so as it sucks, and you look at the history of it. and That's why I was asking you. So if that's what it the, reminds the, the me. The different of. aspects. Yeah. So address all those aspects. Well, to I'm, Thanksgiving. Look at the social, yeah. the political, the historical, the personal, and the spiritual. So five. Look at all those aspects. Address each one of those aspects individually because they all have their own consciousness. Like they all have a play in it. Well, first, socially, I think historically, and and the evil in the general treatment of Native Americans by Europeans. Just so what was so the ready. second one? You can't even remember two out of five. Social. Social, historical. Historical. Personal. So I kind of covered social, historical together. Spiritual. Personal. I think 
the connection that we have with our family, what it's given us is a non-religious opportunity to have a family holiday. Yeah, but is, is not politics religion, bro? Come on. It's not, it's not politics religion. Like, come no, on. No, it, it's it, that... Come on. Our, for our family... Democrats oh, and yes, Republicans, absolutely. like Hindus and Muslims and Christians, come on. Is it not basically this? Well, for all of the twisted history behind this now officially sanctified government holiday for which so many hard workers get the day off and get to enjoy time at home. At least now we can say it's become a beautiful way to connect with other people and to be an exercise in gratitude. And I look forward to time with my family and, and pigging out in the American way and enjoying time with people I love and being thankful for that.